And new tonight, another deadly shooting in our neighborhood plagued with violence in the last few weeks. It is the fourth fatal shooting in Driving Park since the end of July. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Jerry Rebish. Kristen has the night off. Well, a man was found shot to death inside a car near the corner of Miller Avenue in East Sycamore. 10 TV's Paul Aker live at Columbus Police Headquarters with new information about what witnesses saw. Paul? That's right. Here at Columbus Police Headquarters, detectives are right in the middle of their investigation. The detective in charge says that the police have recovered a weapon, but wouldn't give us any more details beyond that. However, we did speak to a man who says he watched as it happened. In a neighborhood that's already seen too many gunshot victims in the past week, the most recent came this evening, concealed in a car, now behind police tarp. I looked over in the car and I see a young man in there dead. Otis Neighbor says he saw what happened. Moments before finding the body, he says he watched three young men try to push their way into the car's passenger side. It was parked on Miller Avenue, just about 100 yards from a crime camera. And at first, Otis wasn't sure what he was watching. I was being curious because I thought they were playing, trying to get in the man's car. But no, they were serious when I heard the gunshot. Otis says after that, the three youngsters sprinted down an alley to get away. News of the shooting graded the already raw neighborhood. This woman and others openly wept near the crime team. For others, frustration was the feeling. It needs to stop. Neighbors say they've seen three to four other shootings in this area in the past week. Police confirm one of those was on this same street just a few days ago. It's getting out. Still, police aren't calling the shooting a murder yet. They say it's too early to know. Instead, detectives took the car into evidence and continued their investigation. Even so, the people on Miller Avenue have already come to their own conclusion. Something around here needs to change. They just they need, need to put their guns up. And the detective says that police have already interviewed at least two people here at headquarters. He wouldn't say, however, how those people might be connected to the shooting. We're live at Columbus Police Headquarters. I'm Paul Aker. 10 TV News. Thanks, Paul. Neighbors in Driving Park are already working with police and community leaders after that rash of violence there. There were three murders in the end of July seen here in red, followed by several shootings that are now marked in yellow.